Barking can be a cause of concern or annoyance for many dog owners. There are many factors that go into whether a breed is considered a barker or not. Energy level and breeding both play a key role, but those certainly aren't the only factors. In today's video, we'll be taking a deeper look into the Ridgeback when we ask ourselves, do Ridgebacks bark a lot? Welcome back to the Fenrir Ridgeback Show. My name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about Ridgebacks. Then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect Ridgebacks. So if you're a lifelong Ridgeback lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Ridgeback, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Ridgeback video. So let's dive right into today's video and we'll uncover whether or not Ridgebacks bark a lot. Now before we take a look into Ridgebacks and their vocalising habits, we need to take a look at all the reasons a dog might bark in the first place. There are a multitude of reasons a dog might take up barking. Some breeds were created to guard and alert their owners of trouble, so it would make sense for those breeds that were bred with this in mind to be more reactive and predispositioned to barking. Energy levels play another key role as to whether or not the breed is one who likes to bark. Dogs with higher energy levels tend to be more excitable and more likely to vocalise their excitement. High energy or working type dogs may also bark due to boredom. It's an attempt to get your attention and engage in play. This is similar to them barking for attention or even food. They want something from you and are trying to communicate. Their rewarding the unwanted behaviour, even unintentionally, may lead to constant barking. There's also defensive barking which can be caused by fear, anxiety or even a territorial dispute. It's not uncommon for a dog in a yard to bark at passers-by as a way of telling them that that's their turf. Canines left home alone may also bark due to separation anxiety. There are lots and lots of reasons why a dog might take up barking in practice, but it all comes down to an attempt to communicate with us. Let's take a look at the Ridgeback specifically. These dogs were bred to work alongside their humans while hunting and their ancestors were used for hunting and as guard dogs. Hunting requires a dog to be calm and collected, which doesn't leave a lot of room for barking. And being a guard dog doesn't either. It's not their job to bark at anything and everything. It was their job to alert their villagers to danger and protect their people when necessary. It wouldn't do much good to have a dog barking and scaring off game or alerting people when nothing was actually happening. But purpose only plays one part in why a dog may or may not bark. Though it ties directly into our next point, energy levels. Dogs with higher energy levels need more exercise and stimulation than those with lower energy levels. Ridgebacks tend to be of a high energy level, but mellow out a little once they hit maturity. They were bred to hunt and live with humans, so they'll happily be around whenever their family is. They're also an intelligent breed, which means interactive games and mental stimulation are also a must. Energetic dogs who aren't given enough time from them getting bored will certainly bark and the Ridgeback is prone to boredom. This breed requires at least two hours of vigorous exercise a day. That includes interactive games or things that provide mental stimulation such as canine sports. These energetic dogs will do great in things like obedience and agility. Energetic dogs are also known to be reactive and excitable. When someone comes home, they express their excitement. When someone passes by, they want to let everyone know. This can make for a very noisy dog, even if they mean well. Sometimes they just want to be a part of the action and other times a passing bike or skateboard may have alerted them. Ridgebacks were bred to keep watch, alert their families of danger and defend if necessary. This means they'll bark, but most likely only if there's an actual problem. They're less likely to bark at those strolling by, but if someone tries to break in, they'll let everyone know about it. Though they also tend to have a high prey drive and quick moving things such as squirrels and bikes may cause them to bark. Ridgebacks are also prone to separation anxiety, which can be a major cause of barking. A stressed or anxious Ridgeback will bark and bark as a way to show it's unhappy. This is an attempt to communicate that there's a problem, but with any sort of anxiety there's only so much to be done by the owner. It takes a lot of work to help a dog feel confident and even more so when they display signs of clinical separation anxiety. Along with the barking may come other behaviours such as scratching a door until their paws are raw or excessive drooling. 
No matter the symptoms your dog shows, it's so important to take your dog to the vet if you think that separation anxiety is an issue for them. To sum things up, Ridgebacks don't usually bark much. They're an energetic breed but tend to reserve barking for its intended purpose. Though barking can be a disruptive behaviour and it's best to make sure your talkative canine companion isn't doing it in excess. Early training will help to stamp out any problems with barking early on. And commands like speak and quiet can be used to teach your dog when it is and isn't appropriate to bark. It's also important to never yell at your dog as this stimulates them and can only make barking worse. They'll get worked up and bark even more and as always, if you do think that it's caused by a medical reason, take your dog to the vet. They'll be able to diagnose any underlying causes and refer you to a behaviourist if needed. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section down below and don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have two dedicated Ridgeback videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Ridgeback Show.